Good day, everybody. Bram Legru here, and sitting right next to me is Don Tolman. <laughs> Such a great coincidence. Second time in Gold Coast, and second time we bump into each other. So we're doing a quick interview now, and Don is going to take you through what really health consists of in his view. Now, please, Don, over to you. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so wonderful, bumping into Brown. I can't believe it. We're both <laughs> staying at the same high-rise hotel. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> Four years after the first time we met, yeah. I love it, yeah. I love it when things like that happen. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of times, you know, people ask me, you know, what do you do? What do you do? Because <laughs> they see me on national televisions or hear me on radio and all kinds of stuff. Yep. And, you know, I'll try to keep it simple. But what it is, I studied around the world for 17 years the ancient and arcane collections and went into museums and libraries and the ancient arcane collections and everything else. And I was looking for an ancient meal that I heard about called Pulse. And I never found it when I was looking for it like that, but I bumped into a billionaire in Chicago and he, there was only one seat left, it was across from me. So he sat down to eat his dinner and I had my salad and we started talking. Come to find out he owns the world's largest privately owned ancient collection. And it was part of his heritage. And he was a billionaire and he got it all from his grandparents and parents and everything else. And he was looking for eight people to hire to empty the crates that had been gathered and put together since the 1700s. And he had just built this gigantic building on his acreage. And he wanted people to come in and empty all the stuff and put it behind glass windows and so he could see it and do all that. And he offered me a job, so I took it. Anyway, eight days later, I found what I was looking for, for Pulse. <laughs> and so now I make Pulse and I get it out there to people. It was an ancient sacred meal. But anyway, what I learned in all of those museums and collections and everything else about our ancestors was that they were not primitive and they weren't stupid. They were genius. They understood the physics of nature of this planet that we're living on and how we're connected to it. And when we embrace the physics of nature, we live long and we're healthy. And it's when we do things that have nothing to do with the physics of nature and it's man-made crap. We get sick, we die, we have this, we have that, and it, it's just a, uh, it's horrible. So anyway, I'll just try to get right in. I wasn't gonna sure. go that long with all, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, 